going to share a story that still sends chills down my spine every time I think about it. My name is Michael, and I'm 20, seven years old. I've been living alone in a small apartment in Tampa, Florida for the last couple of years. It's nothing fancy, but it's quiet, and I like the solitude. At least I did, until something happened one night that I'll never forget. It was a Friday evening, and I had just come home from work. I remember that it was raining heavily outside. The kind of rain that pounds on your windows and makes everything feel a little more isolated. After a long week, I decided to spend the evening relaxing. I made myself some dinner, watched TV for a bit, and by 10 p.m. I was getting ready for bed. I'm not someone who scares easily but I always lock my doors and windows before I go to sleep. You can never be too careful, especially living alone. That night was no different. I checked the front door, made sure the windows were shut tight, and headed to bed. I fell asleep quickly, but something woke me up in the middle of the night. At first, I thought it was just the storm outside. The rain was coming down even harder and the wind was howling. I glanced at the clock. It was three. Fifteen. Um. I was about to roll over and go back to sleep when I heard it. A knock at my door. It wasn't loud or frantic. Just a slow, deliberate knock. I froze for a second, thinking maybe I had imagined it. But then I heard it again. Three slow knocks. Each one spaced out like whoever was on the other side wasn't in a hurry. My mind started racing. Who would be knocking on my door at this hour, in the middle of a storm? I didn't have any friends or neighbors who would show up unannounced like that, especially not at three. Ah. I got out of bed quietly, not wanting to make any noise. My apartment isn't very big and the front door is just down the hall from my bedroom. As I walked towards the door, the knock stopped. My heart was pounding in my chest. I stood there, just a few feet away from the door, listening, but all I could hear was the rain. I looked through the peephole. There was no one there. I felt a wave of relief wash over me. Maybe it was just my imagination. I mean, it could have been the wind, right? I shook my head and started to turn away when it happened again. Three slow knocks. Louder, this time. I whipped back around and looked through the peephole again. Still nothing. I stood there, unsure of what to do. I wasn't going to open the door. That was for sure. But then, just as suddenly as the knocking had started, it stopped. The apartment was dead silent, except for the sound of the storm outside. I waited a few more minutes, my ears straining for any other sound. But there was nothing. Eventually, I convinced myself that it was just someone messing around, maybe a prank or something. I went back to bed, though I didn't sleep well for the rest of the night. The next morning, I woke up feeling uneasy, but I tried to brush it off. It was probably nothing, I told myself. I had some errands to run so I got dressed and headed out. But when I opened my front door, my blood ran cold. There were muddy footprints on my doorstep. They weren't just random smudges, either. They were clear, distinct footprints, like someone had been standing there for a long time. The strange thing was, they were small, like a child's footprints. But there were no kids living in my building, and certainly none who would be out in the middle of the night during a storm. I stared at them for a long time, my mind racing with possibilities. I thought about calling the police, but what would I tell them? That someone knocked on my door in the middle of the night and left footprints. It didn't seem like enough for them to take it seriously. For the next few days, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. Every night, I made sure the door was locked, but I barely slept. I was on edge, waiting for the knocks to start again. A week went by, and nothing happened. 
I started to think maybe it really was just a one-time thing. But then, one night, I heard it again. Three slow knocks, just like before. This time, I didn't even get out of bed. I lay there, my heart racing, listening to the knocks. They were steady, patient, like whoever, or whatever. It was new I was inside, and it was waiting. I never opened the door. I never looked through the peephole again. But the footprints, they kept showing up, night after night, always fresh in the morning, always the same small size. I don't know what's worse, the knocking, the footprints, or the fact that whoever or whatever it is knows where I live, and I have no idea what it wants. So, what would you do if you were in my situation? Would you open the door? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Saturday Stories for more eerie tales like this one.